So what's going on with EURUSD? I'm gonna drop this video breaking down exactly how I'm gonna trade it. And I want you guys to let me know what you think about my analysis. So forget the long talk, let's get right into it. Hey guys, so we're looking at EURUSD. If you've been following us for a while, you know that we love to start on the higher time frame because it gives us a directional bias. We wanna know what direction that this pair is doing overall. So I'm gonna start on the weekly guys, and I am going to shrink my chart up a bit and we can clearly see that we're in a downtrend. We've been in a downtrend since May 2021, and we should understand why the euro is in a downtrend. So obviously, guys, we know that it's been in a downtrend because we know the euro is affected by the Ukraine-Russia war. And so if you guys can recall, I made a video back at the end of February slash beginning of March this year, 2022, that my bias is a sale and it's going to be making new lower lows. So a lot of indicators and price action isn't going to work because of the war. And so first off, my bias is still short, regardless, until things change with the war, my bias is still short. So that means that when I'm position trading, I'm just holding that trade for a long time short, right? I've been in this trade since the, since the beginning of March. And then I like to also intraday trade this pair as well, only during resistance levels because my bias is short. So let's go ahead and drill down to the daily here. And I'm gonna show you how to mark up the chart and if you guys don't trap price or if you don't know what trapping price is, that is crucial to becoming a successful trader. I'm going to show you really quick how to trap price, because if you can trap price, you can predict where price is going eight to nine times out of 10. Right. So I'm going to grab my trend line here and just make an obvious trend. Right. We're in a downtrend. I'm going to make sure I touch each corner of my trend, my higher lows and my lower lows. And then I'm going to go ahead and clone it drag that to the opposite side touching the lower lows right here okay and so that is my obvious downtrend now i've trapped price from a resistance level up here and then a support level up here so you want to have two types of support and resistance level and i'll show you just in a bit so here's my resistance zone for my trend line right here and then here is my support level for my trend line right here and once you trap price from a vertical angle, now you want to trap price from a horizontal angle. So here is my resistance level right here. This is my horizontal resistance level and then my support level down here at the bottom. All right, so it makes sense. So now what I'm going to do is drag my trend line to where price is currently at drag my trend line to where price is currently at and you want to make sure that your trend line is still respecting your lower lows and then also my higher lows because now price is not escaping that's called trapping price and now i have my resistance level right here so why is this my resistance level horizontal because we can see number of a number of candles in wicks respecting this area here so i don't just draw a skinny line i like to draw a pretty thick rectangle because it gives me room to where price can possibly go through okay same here with my support i like to draw a pretty thick rectangle line just so that my candles can have room to pierce through them so we can easily see so i'm going to drop down to the four hour so we can see this a little bit more clearly and we can see that there is a pretty thick bullish candle right here okay and it is approaching our resistance zone right here and then also our resistance zone up here so it gives us enough room to decide what to do so one and two things i'm going to do i'm going to enter a sell at resistance level right here when price continue to push to the upside so let's just say anywhere between 0 0.9883 uh, anywhere between that area and then also this level right here this is also a support level right here where it touches our resistance line so this was a previous support level we can see that price had came to this level and bounced to the downside all right and so price can definitely come and retest this resistance zone right here all right so i'm going to enter a low lot size at this resistance level and then a slightly higher lot size at my uh, vertical resistance level and that way when price begins to go down i would be in the positive at my level here and then once it continues to go down i would be at the positive here so why only resistance levels because my bias is short okay so i want i know 
that is maybe a little bit more riskier to buy because the euro is dropping in value due to the war and it's been dropping for months and months and months and last time i heard the war is not letting off anytime soon it's actually getting worse so it's going to make the euro a bit worse as well and then there's other things that's going on in the economy so it's really important to understand news before you trade and not just look at price action alone all right so that's my bias it's going to be short i'm going to wait for price to continue to the upside because we still see that buyers is in control right now with this pretty long uh, bullish candle right here so i do believe price is going to continue to go up you can see that i have an alert right here just telling me to evaluate the pair once it gets here so once it gets in this area i may put in a sale i'm going to evaluate it to see if there is a wick showing and if there's a wick showing and it closes that lets me know that sellers are starting to take control again. But if I don't see a wick and I see a strong candle, that tells me buyers are still in control. So if we look left to the pat in the past, if we look left for clues right in this side here, we can see that price may mimic this again. We know that price tends to mimic what happened in the past before because those who are moving the market love those numbers here. So we want to just take caution I, I suggest you guys to set an alert at this area around 0 0.9899, that area, and then evaluate it to see if it's still bullish, if buyers are still in control, or if it's starting to let off, okay? So that's going to be my analysis for the Euro USD. I want you guys to drop in the comments. Let me know what you're going to do, if you're going to trade this with me or, or not. Um, if you like these analysis videos, let us know so that we can continue to keep dropping it. This helps us to relate to you guys and actually trade. Since we don't live trade with our YouTube community, only our private community, this kind of helps us to engage with you guys and maybe even take the same trades that we're taking. We are at a 90 to 95% win rate within our academy every time we drop our charts and our trade ideas. And so we want you guys to kind of be a part of that as well. If you want to learn more about that, Go ahead and look in the description. We have our academy where you can actually join and trade live with us, communicate with our community, our private community, and just have fun, guys. It takes a village to come together and be successful in whatever you're looking to do. So guys, that was my analysis with EuroUSD. I want you guys to let me know what you think about this. Post your comment in the comment section. Be sure to like it and then check out our description for more information. Don't forget to sign up for our Telegram, guys. Everything in there is free. We drop trade ideas. We encourage you and we're just one big family there. And guys, above all, risk management is king. I risk no more than 1% to 2% of my entire account when I trade. And so I want you guys to be able to do the exact same thing. Above everything, above the amount of pips you're trying to make, above the amount of money you're trying to make every day, you want to make sure that your risk management is on point because you want to live and trade another day. So I wish you guys the best. Show me some love and I will see you in the next trading analysis video. Take care, guys.